I came out to the field today, it's warm, bordering on hot. Um, Find no, oh. but um, David's babysitting Charlie, and hopefully we're gonna find some artifacts here. And I'll show you if we do. Look down here, and, and I, there's a small fragment of pottery, um, probably late woodland. Looks like it was cord marked. Not huge, but I'm gonna take it home because I don't find much pottery here. <laughs> so, He's a little fucker, man. <laughs> yeah. Okay, here's a small, another small fragment of late woodland pottery. They haven't turned this field, so I'm surprised we're finding anything. So far, we've only been out here about a half hour, but so far all I've found is a, a hammer stone and some small pottery, some small chert flakes. Right now, I'm at this spot where I have, Kill and I have found bird points and I found a couple beads and he found a uh, earplug, you know, that goes through your earlobe. So right now I'm just sitting on the ground looking for stuff. The gills over there looking for stuff. Talk about a teeny tiny shard right there. Late woodland pottery, 500 to 1400 years old, but tiny as can be. I bought these cool little bottles at uh, Dollar General, and they are really good for bringing out on the field and putting small finds like this in. Wow, Gil is about halfway, Gil's about halfway across the farm field. Oh, he's more than halfway. That orange dot somewhere there is. My buddy Gil, he is there, somewhere. Alright, I just picked this little piece up, and I believe it is a broken gunflint. But I'll give you more of a close-up of it later. But um, if it is a broken gunflint, that dates back, presumably, to... Um, Run up here. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was the way I brought the bike in that time with the pull along. You're running is pretty not matted down here? No. <laughs> and that, that pull along was getting. It would be so cool to come out here and camp, but I don't think my back would handle that. Where would you pick it? Over in here. Over in here? In the wooded area? Yeah. I don't think anybody would bother me out here. There's the bridge. Yep. Looks like it may be fast. I'm just letting this run, so. So I have some filler for the rest. So far, no, no poison maybe. So far, right there, somewhere right away. <laughs> Shouldn't have said it. I'm going to the high, high poison area. That's just scary. Yeah. Well, I, I could catch it though, going home if I had enough oils on my shoes. If I pull my shoes off, I could catch it from the bushes. Yep. See, back in here, this if. Would be right. Get the shit out of here. Yep. That'd be a good spot. You take all the twigs out of the way. That'd be an excellent place. Yeah. Man, I need these tennis. You can't get the shit out of there and throw a sleeping bag up in there, that might even work. So well. I was thinking that even out here a sleeping bag would be good. Yeah. It's kind of neat how those three trees, or that. four trees, cool. three, four. Uh, what kind of trees are we looking at here? I think that's maple or oak. Jeez. Maple. This one's maple here, yeah. I'm sure. Yep. The other ones are oaks? I think. Can't even see branches come out here. Reminds me of that book, My Side of the Mountain. Okay, cool. Oh God, it's touching the poison ivy vein. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally dead though. <laughs> well, if it's still got oil on it, it doesn't matter. I feel like I have um, poison ivy on my calf. It really itches. I mean, I'm not going to scratch it because I want to spread it when I go home and wash it. You know? It itches already? Yeah, my calf itches. I probably got That'll teach me how to re Well, I didn't know I was coming here. I was going to say, that'll teach me to get gross, don't it? It does. Very much. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, that is pretty scummy looking, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Must be their 
lunch here. Zebra cakes. Oh. Yep, someone's out here showering. You said eagles up in that pole. Okay, I'm back home. Uh, it was hot on the field. Um, Gil and I were both starting to feel nauseous and dehydrated and sick. So I'm back home though, and Gil's back over at his house. And I am going to do a recap of the things that we found today out on the field. So stay tuned. Come here. Come here, you. Come here, little gray. Come here, little gray. Come here, little gray. I don't know if I'm going to get to make my recap video because this little guy wants to play. This little guy wants to play, don't you? Yes. This is Charlie and Star's little boy. Oh, <laughs> Charlie and Star's little boy. And he's got the energy that his daddy used to have. And he's got the personality that his daddy used to have. Well, anyways, let's get back to the artifacts. I guess he's going to try to help me explain them to you in just a moment. All right, now, if little C will let me do this, because he's just very curious about everything. Anyways, the, the, the largest piece is this uh, hammer stone. Um, you can see on the bottom where it's been heavily used for hammering. And it is a, a nice piece. This end probably was used to, but this one shows the most use to me. Um, you know, what else can be said about it? It's a hammer stone. What are you doing in the box, kid? All right. Anyways, um, over here, this piece. Um, I'm not sure. It looks like a fossil. Actually, it looks like a fossil of a, of a part of a tree branch or something. I don't know if it is a fossil. I'm going to check it out more uh, with my uh, magnifying glass and see. But it's nonetheless, it's a, a very interesting, unusual piece. These up here are pieces of chert or flint. And then down here is a selection of flint pieces that, I, that Gil and I picked up. Uh, this one could have easily been a graving spur. I can see. Uh, this looks like this actually triangular point could have been used as a bird point. Wouldn't be out of the question. Another graving spur. See how it's hooked on the end and very pointed. So this one could be an, another, again, it could have been a graving spur. Uh, let's see, this is the rich, waxy black chert. Uh, this side's getting to work on it. It was being worked on this side. Of course, it's proud, you know, this is all just uh, mostly waste product that could have also been used and more than likely was used. Um, I picked this piece up thinking that it was a drill but it isn't. It's a piece of, uh, you know, cast off from production. This could actually be a, uh, a, a micro blade. Very, very tiny. But, um, you know, that's what it looks like to me. Like it could have been a micro blade. Very micro blade. <laughs> very, very tiny. And another graving spur. And let's see. Finger knife. You know, kind of like that. Very little one. And this is interesting because of the colors in it. It is a just a piece of, of uh, flint, but it, the color, it's got that reddish color in it, which is kind of cool. Uh, this would be, could have actually been another thumb knife or finger knife handheld and used for cutting. What are you doing, little one? Now, this piece of stone, I'm not sure what it is. I mean, it looks like a fossil. It's got these round circular... Uh, impressions in it and I'm not sure on that one that's going to take a little more research on my part but that's okay that's part of the fun of it this pile here these are just little tiny uh, pottery shards the biggest one is this these are late woodland I'm certain they're all late woodland and then over here are historic period pieces as well as little C, <laughs> a historic period pieces that were from the Albert Miller Farm Homestead that was on this particular field, and uh, the Judge Albert Miller was on this particular field, and we, Gil and I have found a tremendous amount of pieces from that era, 1830s. Um, this is the rim of a uh, stoneware bottle or jug. 
this, this has a gray bumpy feel to it look to it uh, the dark brown is very common on the site then this metal piece I don't know what it is if you have any ideas please share them with me uh, it's heavy and uh, I'd like to have your opinion on what that might be as well as this uh, metal piece it's hooked sort of and I've seen something like this before but I don't remember where or what it was so again help me out my friends what do you think it is glass shards uh, this is the only time I found glass shards that show uh, that there had been a fire at that site and melted some of the glass now this piece is really interesting because I believe this is a broken flint uh, for a flintlock gun and let me see if you can see that better there. It's a different color, different kind of flint that's found on site there. Uh, it would not be out of place for the 1830s when it, uh, that area was occupied uh, by, by uh, Judge Miller. Or it could even predate that to some of the earlier settlers that, are, that came in here. Let's not forget the Treaty of Saginaw was done in 18, 1818? 1818? And, you know, so certainly it could be from that era also. So, a nice little assemblage. It'll make a nice small collection and display of area history. And I hope you enjoyed seeing it. I hope you enjoyed going with me and Gil out to the farm field. I doubt that we will get out there again this year, but who knows what will happen. All right. Thank you for watching. Love you much. And God bless you all, my dear friends.